You're going to write our objective. I can solve a system of linear inequalities by graphing. It's three together. One, two, three. I can solve a system of linear inequalities by graphing. Read again. One, two, three. Okay. So we're going to use this this sheet right here. So if you notice, you have space here for notes. Yes. So at the top right, I want you to create a little fair model for systems of linear inequalities. In the top right, a Fourier model. It says, systems of linear inequalities, a set of two or more linear inequalities that have the same variable. A set of two or more linear inequalities that have the same variable. A set of two or more linear inequalities that have the same variable. Examples. Y is less than or equal to 3x plus 1 and negative 4x plus 2y greater than 6. Also, negative y less than x minus 5, and y greater than or equal to 2x plus 1. Copy that. All right, here we go. It says, the set of two or more linear inequalities that have the same variable. Look at this system. Is it a two or more? Yes. Set of two or more. Do they have the same variables? Yes. Are they inequalities? Yes. This one, set of two or more? Yes. Same variables? Yes. Inequalities? Yes. So, look at this one. Look at this non example. Why is this not a system of linear inequalities? Tell your neighbor, please. Why is this not a system of linear inequalities? Donovan, why is that not a system of linear inequalities? Because, because what? Equal sign. Yeah, an equal sign. So what is, be nice. <laughs> Donovan, so what is the name of this non-example? Equation of, um, system of, Equation. That is correct, a system of linear equations. But today we're looking at what? System of linear inequalities. So now that you saw the difference between one to the other, I want you to have some uh, hashtags that would uh, let your BFF know what makes it a system of linear inequalities. Ryan, go. One. What is it? No equal sign. No equal signs yes same variables yes not one in the same Thank you. We've got one more. Yeah. Two or more linear inequalities. Thank you. Two or more linear inequalities. Yes, thank you. Everybody got it? All right. So, for this one, I am not going to give you steps again. You're going to come up with your own steps. So we're going to go straight to, uh, to an example. So um, underneath your fair model, I want you to copy this example, please. Example 2A. You're going to write, graph the system of linear inequalities. Give two ordered pairs that are solutions and two that are not solutions. Write the instructions, please. System, negative 3x plus 2y greater than or equal to 2, y less than 4x plus 3. 
Copy that, please. Bring your utensils down. You'll finish copying in a little bit. All right. Please, pretty please stay focused on this. Um, if you stay focused and you pay attention, you're going to get it. If you don't, you're probably going to go with the entire lesson without understanding it. I need you guys to stay focused. Look up to the screen. I'm going to go over the process. I'm not going to say anything. I want you guys to pay full attention. Okay? Here he goes. Tell you never the first step, please. Okay. Don't copy it yet. You're, we're, we're one step, but it's got several steps, so pay attention. Here it goes. Look up. Here goes the next process. Are you ready, Lorena? We're just waiting for you. Ready? All right. Everybody look up to the screen. <laughs> Here it goes. Are we there so far? Yeah. I'm still not done. Here it goes. Pay attention to this part. Here it goes again. It says Y is greater than one. Talk it over with your neighbor, see what they see. Okay, copy that for right now, and then I'm going to do the next uh, component. Here it goes. Here goes a recap. Step one was to, I heard you guys say right in what? S slope intercept form, okay? For step two, I graphed the line like if it was an equation. But what's different now is that we it's an inequality. So if I'm looking at the y-axis, look up the y-axis. Here's the y-axis. And it says y is greater than 1. What numbers are greater than 1? Everything over here. Is that correct? Yes. Now, for those that still don't see it, here it goes. So I'm going to put it like this. y is greater than or equal to 1. What numbers are greater than 1? Everything that way. Is that correct? Is that correct? 
but if we are in a two dimension now, and if I had a a line here, that means I need to shade not only this line, I need to shade everything above the one. Is that correct? Okay. However, here we don't go by the X axis, we go by this line that we graphed. So what's greater than one? All this, and what else? We shade everything above that red line that we just graphed. Are we there so far? All right. Here goes the. Uh, I'm going to continue for this step two. Look up. Write any utensils down. Look up, please. Here he goes. Look at this part. I do have the right line, and that's what we're going to do right now, talk with your neighbor. Look up. Why is the red line solid and the blue line dotted. Yes, you need to do a dash line, a dash line. Yeah, you could do like dotted or dash, it's up to you. So we can elaborate why that one is dashed and the other one is solid. Sky. Go. Yeah. This one is dashed or dotted because it doesn't have it doesn't have the equal sign under the inequality symbol. Who sees that? And this one is solid because it does have. So remember when we plot it, if it does have the equal sign, it's a solid point. Yes, that's why this is a solid line. This one is not a solid point. It's an open point. That's why this is an open line or a dotted line. Okay, hold on. I'm not done. Here it goes. What else do I need from here? The Y, the less than, what else? And the 3. Y less than 3. What's Y less than 3? Everything down here. That means I'm going to go by this blue line, everything under the blue line. Copy that, please, and then I'll go and finish this portion off. Copy that, please. Okay. So we got our red inequality graph and the region. We got our blue inequality graph and the region. So now it says here, give two order pairs that are solution and two that are not solutions. So writing utensils down, pay attention. Here we go. I'm going to give you two points that are solutions. First point that is a solution, 3, 8. Let me give you another one that is a solution. One, four. For those of you that don't see it, here it goes. Look up. Hands if you see it. Okay. Talk about your neighbor. Tell them why is or why are these two a solution to that system? Okay. 
Marcelo, why are these solutions? Did you ever hear that? Because this point, these points are where both areas overlap. What areas? The blue one and the red one. Who sees that there's red and blue in this section right here? That is correct. So who can give me another solution point? Another solution point. Julian. Um, two, ten. Two, ten. Yep, right about there. Two, ten. Who can give me another one? Right. Donovan? Negative seven, negative ten. Is that in the shaded region that we just highlighted over here? Is that in the shaded region, guys? So what is this? No solution. Thank you. So give me one more solution. One more solution. Roberto. Three, six. Yep, it's inside of there. All right, they already gave me one no solution. And this point actually is not a solution for either inequality. You're saying, what does that mean, Mr. Q? If I was to substitute the values of this point into this inequality, it's going to be false, right? But then when I substitute it into this one, it's also going to be false for both. Tell your neighbor why that is. Why will this be false for both inequalities? Julianne. I thought you were going to say the answer. Hold on, she's got it. Because why? Because there's nothing there. That is correct. When there's no shading in there, that is not a solution. However, look at this. Watch. Let me give you another point that's not a solution to the system. Negative 6, 3. This is not a solution to the system. Not solution. However, that is a solution for this inequality. It would be true for this one, but not for both. Tell your neighbor why. Tell your neighbor why that would be no solution for the system, but only for the red. Uh, Chris, can you elaborate on that, please? Because it only satisfies the red inequality. That is correct. Yeah. How do you know which uh, like, uh, inequality will be red or blue? What color is, whoa. Uh, it's up to you which color you use. But I'm saying I'm using two different colors, so I know which one I'm working with. You see what I'm saying? But I could have used green, you know what I'm saying, and black for the other. So it's up to you. So who can give me another, pay attention, another no solution? for the system, but that it is a solution to the blue inequality, to the blue inequality. Tony. Four, negative four. Four, negative four is not a solution to the system because it's not in here, but it's a solution to the blue one because it's in the blue region. That is correct. Everybody understand? Yeah. All right. Did everybody copy this? No. You need at least two solutions and two no solutions, so plot two points that are not in the solution section and two that are. Once you verify your solutions, you are going to write this. Look up. Solution set. So like that, we indicate where the solution set is. Okay? You want me to zoom in, Chris? Solution set?
Okay? We're going to do one together. Hopefully, you should be able to do this next one by yourself, but I'm going to walk you through it with somebody's help. So, turn your paper over on the big graph paper. Copy this down. Example 2D. You don't have to copy the instructions. You write the system. Y is greater than X minus 7, and 3X plus 6Y less than or equal to 12. So before we graph or do anything like that, tell you never the very first thing we should do. Pam. I heard someone say we set them in slope intercept form. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Before anything else happens, you set all problems to fit. S-I-S. Which is? Thank you. Did we hear that? Uh, 6Y less than or equal to negative 3X plus 12. Divide by 6. Y is less than or equal to. Why? What is negative 3 divided by 6 in simplest form? In fraction form? X, thank you, plus 12 divided by 6 is 2. Now that we have those already, this one's in slope intercept form, this one's in slope intercept form, I'm going to continue with this one in red. Where do I go from there? Why? Yeah, what do I do? Which means? Down one, two to the right. Thank you. Down one, two to the right. 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 Is that a solid or a dotted line, uh, White? Uh, solid. Why? Because it's uh, equal to. Do you ever understand that? Yeah. Yep, that is correct. It's a solid because it is a greater than, I mean, less than or equal to. All right. Where do I shade? Why? What do I need from here to I so I can write it out? Oh, okay. The two, and what does this say? Y is what? Less than or equal to two. So here's two. What numbers are less than two? So that means we're going to shade everything below the red line that we just drew. Thank you. Pass to someone. Who? Julia, tell me uh, how to graph this one. Negative seven. There it is. And then. One over one, which means up one, one to the right, up one, one to the right, up one, one to the right. Will this be a dotted or a solid line? Dotted line. And we already know why, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. What else do we need from there to uh, shade? Above. 
above the line. Julian said everything that's above the line that we just graphed. So that means, so we can illustrate it, we use this part, which is y is greater than negative 7. What's greater than negative 7? Everything above. That's why we shade everything above. Okay. So who can give me two points that are a solution, part of the solution set? Sky, give me one. Four, negative one. Four, negative one is right there. That is correct. One more, Julian. Um, negative ten, negative five. Negative ten, negative five is right there. Okay. I need two that are not solutions. Not solutions. Why? Give me one. Eight, negative three, uh, negative ten. 8, negative 10, let's see, 8, negative 10, mm -hmm. give me another one, Zoe, give me one that's not a solution for either inequality, 10, 1. Yep, that one's not a solution for either one, okay? And where are we going to write the solution set? In here, solution set, which is everything in here. I'll highlight it with my highlighter and here, all this. All right. If we wanted to check one of these two points, does everybody know what to do? How to check? Yes, what would we do with one of those points? Substitute into the inequalities, and it has to be true for only one? Both. For both, that is correct. It has to be true for both. So, let's get some steps down. Now that we did the process, let's see if we got our steps. Write this down, number one. Step number one. Luke, go. You know what I'm sorry? Put the inequalities in slope intercept form. Thank you. Pass someone. Who? Oh, Jen. Step two, what do we do after we set them in slope and intercept form? We already have it in slope and intercept form, both of them. What do we do from there? Graph and shade the regions. Okay? So once we put it in slope and intercept form, we graph both inequalities, shaded the regions. What is step three, everyone? Marcelo. Plot and write two solutions and no solutions. And what is the fourth step that we didn't do? Check. We talked about it, but let's see if we know what to do. So easy steps, yes, four easy steps. So let me go back to one of these. Look up. Write any utensils down. To check, let's say this is one of the solutions. Tell your neighbor what you need to do with that and these two inequalities to double check that that is a solution to the system. Juliana, go. 
substitute the values into each, and it has to be true for both in order to be a solution. That is correct. Bam. Home play for tonight is on pages 319 and 320 only, and like Donovan said, odds and evens. Uh, good one, guys. There's shooting today. I don't see you. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.